Hey there everybody, so this is the next Edpuzzle tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over how to put questions that your students answer into the video and how to add your own comments and how to put uh, photos in those comments. So here I've got a video clip and I've already cropped it to the length I want. We're going to go over here to the questions. So I've already watched this video and have my questions set up so you don't have to watch that. So I'm going to uh, the 22nd second and I click here on this question mark and that will pop up this menu which is where you can add questions so right here there's open-ended questions this is multiple choice questions and then there's comments and comments don't have them answer anything specific but they have to look at it before they can move on so our first question is going to be right here I've got them already written up right here so we're just going to copy and paste those into there So why did Iraq invade, or why did the U.S. invade Iraq in 2003? Iraq had connections to terrorist groups. The U.S. had concerns that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction, and now I've got a couple of extra answers here. Iraq declared war on the U.S. And the final, both A and B. So right now you can see that this is clicked as a wrong answer, so I'm going to change that to the right answer, and I'm going to turn A to a wrong answer as well. So they have to select this one to get the points for it. So you can preview it here. This is what it would look like um, for students. We're going to take that all out, so it's shorter. That's a better preview. And we're going to go ahead and save that. So we're going to go to the next question. Slightly <clears throat> quickly, but the U.S. And my next question is going to be at spot 301. It's a little bit further down in the video, but they had to watch multiple things in here to get it. So click that. The next question is a true or false question. True or false, ISI became ISIS. So we select a multiple choice and then just type in true and false. Then you don't have to have any other answers and just select the right one. You can save that. Lovely gathering of human beings. Now, if we go back to this, one of your assignments is to have two questions at one point in the movie. So you can click on this plus button and you can add as many questions as you want. So Here's an open-ended question that I had for number three. Why did Al-Qaeda and Saudi Arabia withdraw support from ISIS? And that is going to be an open-ended question. So I just put that in there. The preview is a little bit different, so students will just type in this box their answers, and then you can go back and grade them. So we're going to save that, and now we've got both of these questions. Uh, let's edit that and make this question number two. <clears throat> okay. Lovely Continue. gathering of human. And then the last question that I wanted to add was all the way at the end. So click on that. It's going to be another open-ended questions. Brainstorm what might be done to stop ISIS. This is just kind of an open-ended question for them to, you know, there's not an exact correct answer preview that looks good and we can save that so that's uh, how you add the different questions so now we're gonna go back and do a comment including most Let's pause that and my comment is gonna go at point one one point two two so I'm gonna click this here and I felt like in this part they didn't explain really that they talked about Sunnis and Shias uh, being different sects of, of Islam but they didn't really explain what the difference was, so I thought, you know, this would be a good point to add some detail. So I wrote this up for my students to see. I'm going to copy that. Again, you don't have to copy and paste these. You don't have to have them written up before. I'm just doing that so you don't have to watch me type for forever. And then I want to go ahead and add an image. 
I can use a URL or I can upload my image. I've got one pre-downloaded. It's this one here. It's a map of the Middle East and the percentages of Shias versus Sunnis. And then I'll hit OK. It'll take a second to load. And then they can see the, they can scroll through this to see what's what. It's kind of kind of large image, but well, we can go back and we can edit that. I think. Just delete that and let's put it back in. This is something good for you to see because it's something new for me. So as you can see, this is a really big image. It's got a width of over a thousand pixels. So we're gonna push that down to something like 500 and then it'll automatically adjust the height. And that's a lot more manageable. So yeah, if you need to adjust um, your the size of your image, that's how you do that. And then we can preview that as well, and this is what it would look like. It looks pretty good, so we're gonna save that. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any other questions, just look through the rest of them. Thanks, guys.